Okay, this discussion is to show you uh, the proper way to write a scientific name and we want to know how to do this because this is how we um, write bacteria names and we want to write them correctly. So um, when we write a scientific name, we always have two parts to the name. We have the genus and we have the species. And we always capitalize the genus and write the species in lowercase. And then we either want to underline the name or if we're typing, we can write it in italics. So for example, Escherichia coli, capital Escherichia for the genus lowercase coli for the species and we underlined it and now we have our name properly written. Now with bacteria um, we sometimes have another designation after the species and that would be um, the strain of that bacteria and so for example for Escherichia coli you may have heard of um, E. coli K12 or Escherichia coli K12 K12 is the strain of the Escherichia. The other thing that we see a lot is um, once we've written out the name um, fully once, we can abbreviate it, and we abbreviate it by using the first letter of the genus with a period, and then the species um, that we write out. And we also want to italicize or underline that um, name as well. So. Escherichia coli K12 is one strain. Another one you may have heard of is 0157H7. That's the one we hear about in the news a lot, which causes um, unpleasant <laughs> intestinal issues and can even lead to a very serious disease that's called hemolytic uremic syndrome. But um, these are both related because they're both in the same species, so they have similar DNA but they have differences to them and that's why we give them a difference in strain name. So to recap really quickly, um, always write the genus and the species, capitalize genus, lowercase species, underline it if you're writing it, and then if you're typing it, you can put it in italics. Once you've written out fully, then you can switch to the abbreviation, capital genus, period, and then the species name. And then if you see that strain after, you'll know that it's just a variation of that species. Thank you.